What's going on you guys? MZ Brothers back at you with another video. Today, Zach's not here, he's actually out of town, so it's just going to be me today. Um, but I figured this would be a good opportunity for us to go ahead and get the fuse holders in, as we said we'd do in the last video with this one. So, first things first, let's go to the store, get that taken care of, and then after going to the store, we'll come back and we'll get them in. So, stay tuned. store now. Uh, when we get in there, we're going to find the electrical stuff. They had everything we needed, so let's head back to the garage and get them in. So as you've seen in the last video, which was our uh, problem solved video, um, you've seen that we did find out that the uh, fuse was bad. So the fuse here, um, we checked the cap, but it's actually the fuse housing that's bad. What I want to go ahead and do today is come in here and get this fuse and get this fuse housing out of here. Now we're going to leave the fuse housing in there but we're going to bring the new fuse down here now that's what we just got at the store the fuse housing and I think what we can do is we can go ahead and put it down under the motor and then go from there I think that would keep it out of the way of the chain and everything as well as the circuit will still be protected so let me go get the stuff and we'll get started alright guys so here's the fuse holders that we picked up today uh, these are the uh, fuse holders that are going to go in to replace the one that's on there. These are a little bit different, but they're going to work. So, uh, on that note, the fuses we got are 20 amp fuses. Uh, just to crimp everything together, we got butt connectors and some zip ties to keep everything safe and out of the way. Alright, guys, so a little bit better view for you. Um, right here, this is the wire that's coming up. I'm thinking that I can actually just go ahead and cut these wires. Let me go ahead and uh, bring you in for a better view. All right, so it's these two wires here, this one here, and this one here. I'm wondering if I can just go ahead and cut it off and then be able to just bring it over to here. So let me see if I can do that and then we'll go from there. this really is a bird's nest of wires I think what I'm going to have to do is there is in here a zip tie which is right up underneath the seat where it mounts kind of gonna be hard to get to that to cut it but I am going to have to in order to bring those back let me show you it is right there all this wiring here and it's with that zip tie and a zip tie back there is actually holding it so hopefully I can get that fixed. I figured it'd be a little bit easier if I just come from the top to do this. Uh, really 
right here, this is what I want to cut. Being careful not to cut any other wires. Cut that off. Alright, now pull through. That was one there. And there's our other one. Good. So they left us quite a bit. And as you can see, this is the connector off the battery. This is the connector off the battery. So it comes from the battery to the fuse and then out through here where it goes into the control module. So oof, we fixed that. Now, all I want to do is I kind of want to leave all this the same, but I am going to go ahead and cut these ends off just to clean them up real nice and then we're going to go ahead and crimp those and add the fuse connector between those two so now that I got my wire strippers here I want to strip a little bit off the end where I'm going to do it um can't really tell what this is so I stripped that off the end and I'm going to do that for both ends so once I've done that for both ends I want to go ahead and clean them up now I take the fuse holder and they give you a little bit there as you can see they just kinda pull it off a little bit but I'm gonna pull a little bit more than what they got alright so now I'm just gonna feed this all into the crimp connector oh there's a storm coming feed this all into the crimp connector Yes, I know there's a better tool for this, but I don't have anything better than a pair of pliers here. I want to go ahead and take one side that we just cut and feed it in after cleaning it up. So I'm going to go ahead and clean it up, put it in there, and then crimp that side. Alright, after crimping that side and making sure everything's tight, not really seeing anything here, I think we're good to go. Now I'm just going to do that exact same process for the other side. Alright, so once you're done, this is what it's going to look like here. There's two wires with just the fuse linked together. And basically all that did was that took this here, and we're just putting it here. That's all we're doing. Alright, so now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to open the fuse holder and I'm going to get a fuse to put in there. After getting a fuse to put in here, I'm just going to go ahead and put it in. And now I'm going to go get the batteries to test this out. So I'll, I'll close that. That gets nice and water tight. Now I'm just going to go get the batteries and test it out. Alright, now connecting the batteries, I'm just going to go ahead and make sure the keys off. There we go. All my connections are tight. I'm not touching anything that I shouldn't be. Make sure all my connections on my battery are tight. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and turn the key. Alright, lights are on and up top. Let me uh, take you up there and show you. Alright guys, so as you can see here, all the lights are on. Everything's ready to go. All right. Give it a spin, test it out. Good to go, everything works. Now, let's get everything tucked in, ready to go, and that'll wrap up this video for today. All right, so now all I wanna go ahead and do is just clean up all these connections by putting electrical tape on here. All right, so now that I put electrical tape on these connectors, we're gonna go ahead and clean it all up so we can tuck it down under the motor and hopefully keep it away from the chain. Alright guys, so this is a little long. I am going to take the zip ties and try and tie some of this up a little bit. So putting this uh, zip tie on here, I'm just going to cut it to the you know, length that I need it. And then I left that slack on there just so if we need to service the fuse in the future we can. But I think at this point now I can just go ahead and kind of tie all this up and then I'm just going to go ahead and tuck everything in again the fuse that we just did I'm going to tuck that under the motor alright guys that's going to do it for this video today if you'd like to see more about us go down to the uh, description where we have a link to our twitter page um, other than that 
Um, I am going to go ahead and do everything I did to the black scooter. I'm going to go ahead and do it to the red scooter. Just so we know that nothing's going to happen to both of them. Um, but in the next video, we will be going ahead and test riding both of them. As well as, if you remember in our first video, we went out on the street with it. And the speed limit said 25 miles an hour. It wasn't doing 25 miles an hour. We are going to go ahead and get you a top speed run of what these actually do. Side by side, together, we'll figure out what they do. So, but other than that, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and see you in the next video.